Welcome back to Northern Wisconsin Chicken Chat, where you'll find poultry health videos, breed information, and more. Be sure to subscribe. Welcome back, everybody. Today we are talking about breaking broody hens. In other words, stopping them from being broody and staying in the egg box. The two most common breeds for being broody frequently are Cochins and Silkies, among a couple other breeds. I have many Cochins and many Silkies, so I have a lot of broodies. Here we have a broody Cochin hen, and this is a Silky Mix hen. Now, one problem that can arise when you have broody hens is when they come out of the box, they can actually tend to be picked on by the other hens, which can be dangerous because you can see this Cochin hen got almost pecked in the eye. And here I have another broody silky hen. And this is of course important if you don't want your hens to hatch eggs. Now I've even seen these breeds try to sit on and hatch chunks of melon and even chunks of chicken poop. Yep, they will be so enthused and focused on trying to become a mom that some of my hens have tried to hatch chicken turds. So I will show you ways that you can stop broody hens and why it's important to do so if you don't want baby chicks. Now, if you do want baby chicks, it's still important to move mama hen and the eggs or use fencing to separate them because other hens will attack and kill other hens' baby chicks. And it's still important if you want to hatch chicks to move the food and water closer to mama hen so that you know she's eating and drinking enough during this time. So I have a couple of small chicken coops attached to a run and what I will do for the first three days is I will separate the broody hens in this side coop with the doors closed so that they can't get back in the egg box. So I just shut this door. This hen is, she was broody. She's a bantam cochin. She's just trying to lay an egg though, so we're gonna open the door back up. So I try this for a few days, and if separating them in the side coop doesn't work, then I will move on to the method in which you put the hen in a metal dog crate. And stopping a broody hen is all about two main things. Trying to distract them and body temperature. Because when a hen is broody, her body temp temperature naturally raises, so you need to try to bring that back down. Now, what the easiest thing you can do is put the metal dog kennel up on bricks or blocks, get it up off the ground, and then put a fan to circulate air underneath the dog cage. Now, you might read in some online articles that you can place ice packs directly under the hen to reduce body temperature. Although some people say this works, it is a bit dangerous to put a chicken on ice because if you reduce the body temperature too quickly, she can actually have a heart, at heart attack or stroke. So I don't advise using ice, just a fan and maybe a cooler place like a garage using a metal dog kennel. Some determined hens will actually stay broody for months. The longer you wait to try to stop her, the more susceptible she will become to having issues with her health. This is Ingrid, a crested cream leg bar, that was broody 
for a couple weeks and she started to go downhill and it was my mistake we all make mistakes every now and then was i didn't try hard enough to break her broodiness and i didn't remove her entirely from her environment to distract her i just kept taking her out of the box and she kept going back in prior to her becoming broody i had to treat this pen for coccidia using corid Corid is a vitamin B blocker. So just before she went broody, she wasn't getting much vitamin B. And then while she was broody, she wasn't coming out and eating and drinking like normal. So then she still wasn't getting enough nutrients. And when she finally stopped being broody, she became lethargic, pale in the face, and her comb drastically shriveled down which a shriveling comb is normal with broody hens, but her comb was almost non-existent and she was sleeping a lot. So I knew there was something wrong. So I concluded that she was nutrient deprived from being broody too long and having the corid prior to that. So then the two days after that, when she finally stopped, I gave her Rooster Booster brand vitamins and she perked right up, and she's totally fine now. But yes, that is one of the problems that you can have if you leave a hen in a box too long, is they can become nutrient deprived. Another thing that can happen is because they are not coming out enough and dust bathing like normal, a broody hen is more susceptible to getting lice and mites. So if, again, if you don't want baby chicks, it's important to try to stop them and break them from that broodiness and get them out of the box. These are a few chicks that I have here. Now I do use a microscope, of course, as you may have seen on my other videos, and I don't have Kosi in this pen anymore, so Ingrid is all safe. I have no other broodies in this pen, thank heavens. And those are my baby turkey chicks. Now, a lot of people will tell you, oh my gosh, they spilt their water. A lot of people will tell you that you cannot keep turkeys and chickens together successfully because chickens will make the turkeys sick. You can actually keep them together. I know a few other people that do. There is some ways that you can keep them healthy and happy. I will be doing a video about that in the near future. So that is why it's important to break the broodiness. I thank you so much for watching and please be sure to share and subscribe.